welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Um, so today what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and get my January favorites video up. I love filming my favorites videos because I like to give a shout out to the products that have done me good throughout the month. So yeah, I'm just going to mention to you guys all the products I've been obsessed with this month and been loving and let's get started. Alright, so I figure I'll start with skincare products because I have a couple newbies that I want to show you guys that I haven't mentioned before. Unless you follow me on Instagram, then you get an inside scoop of what I'm about to show you. The first product I want to show you is the mask of, I think it's pronounced Magnamenti. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Do correct if I am wrong, but yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced and <sighs> there's like dust all over it already. I just bought this. Anyways, um, it is a face and body mask, so basically you can use it on your face or your back if you're breaking out in those areas and that's what it's good for. Good for drying up acne and things like that. Um, it is a green color. And it smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. How delicious is that? I've used it three times now. You're not supposed to use it every day of the week. You're only supposed to use it one to two times a week, I believe it says. Um, and it kind of dried out my face, but in a good way. Because I had some problem areas and it really dried them up quick. And it made my face feel so, so soft. So I am obsessed and loving this mask. So if you stop by Lush Store, be sure to check this out. The next skincare product I want to mention to you is by Stila, and I haven't really heard much on the Stila skincare line. I don't really know a lot of people that use it, but honestly, I was in Ulta, and I was wandering around the store, and I was digging around the Stila stuff, and I saw this mask, and it's actually an exfoliating mask, and it's a gentle one, so it's not harsh at all on your skin. You're only supposed to use a two to day three today. Then the next product that I picked up is from Stila as well. It is their skincare undercover conditioning and moisture prep. It is a toner by them and this toner is so moisturizing and so thick that when you pour it on a cotton ball, the cotton ball doesn't even absorb it. It sits on top of the cotton ball. That's how thick this toner is. I've never used anything like it and I'm ecstatic about it because after you use this exfoliator, it can dry out your face and then you apply this magnificent toner that I love so much and it puts the hydration back in your face and it evens out your pH balance in your face which is just everything to me um, yeah and it's alcohol free too so it's not stingy or burning or anything and if you apply it right after you put your makeup on in the morning oh my gosh your makeup goes on so smooth I just love this stuff so much I love you I love you I love you that is it for skincare. We're going to move on to makeup. I have a product that I tweeted the other day as the game changer because this is the game changer of all primers. I've never used a primer this glorious and actually it is called glorious. It is an all natural primer for your face and for your eyes if you want to do that. It is by the Unique Cosmetics line and it comes in this very fancy glass bottle. And it is a pump. I love pumps. They're so sanitary and so, so, so not hard or difficult to use. It's very easy. Anyways, this is the thickest pore filling primer I have ever used. I put it on before I applied my foundation and oh my gosh, my face looks like a baby seal's butt. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Please look how wonderful this is. It just goes on clear and it is so thick and soft. I, I'm just obsessed. This is a mattifying primer and I will put the link for it down below. And yeah, I love it. So every time I film a video, I drop stuff. All right, I have two makeup brushes I want to mention, and I don't normally mention brushes in my videos, but I have two that I've kind of fallen in love with, so I have to tell you guys. First, I mentioned this little guy in my IMATS LA haul. It is the Sigma Flat Angle Kabuki Brush. It is an F88, and I use it to apply my foundation, and this is the softest brush I've ever put on my face, um, and the angle with it instead of it being a flat kabuki the angle it really makes the appliance very 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 I don't even know what to call it it makes applying my makeup very easy maybe 
Um, yeah, so I'm in love with this. And then my second one is a MAC 128 brush. It's a really, really cool brush. If you follow me on Instagram, I shot a picture of this brush up a few weeks ago. And one side is basically for your powder. And then the second side is for your liquids or concealers, things like that. But honestly, I just use the brush for my contouring. And I love it so, so much. It's, um, it's kind of flat, as you can see. So you can, you can really get just the great shape for contouring contouring and shaping your face and applying the powders or the cream contouring exactly where you want it and it's not really messy and it smooths it out so nicely. This brush is so soft. I love it. But I think it's limited edition so they might still have some. Alright, the next makeup item I want to mention to you guys is the one and only the Anastasia contouring kit. I waited in a very long line for this guy. I wanted it so bad for so long. They were sold out on, on, on online. They were sold out on online. They were sold out online. <laughs> and yeah, so I finally got it and I was so excited and it's everything it's lived up to be. First you get the three brown colors and then you get a color that can set your concealer and then some highlighting colors. So it's like the whole big shebang in one so it's definitely worth the money. These colors are so, 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 so pigmented. I'm currently using, let's see, I'm using these two colors mixed together to contour my face. I use this yellowy tone one for underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Okay, and this is the shimmery one. It has a very fine green shimmer in it. It's not glittery at all, and I use that as a highlight sometimes, but I have a highlighter I want to show you guys, but I have been using this sometimes as a highlighter. Anyways, this is just my baby right here. I just love it to death. The whole kit is wonderful. It's so pigment. Anastasia produces anything. It's never a disappoint. So, as suspected, I'm in love with this guy as I just dug my nail into one of the colors. Another item by Anastasia is the Dip Brow. This is one of their newer products they came out with. I also picked this up at IMAX. It is the Dip Brow Pomade, and I got mine in dark brown. I am wearing it right now on my eyebrows, and I have been using it ever since I got it. Uh, I love it so much, and it makes doing your eyebrows so easy because I don't really have to apply the gel to them, although I do sometimes still, but you don't have to because it's like the gel and the powder mixed in one, just one pomade ready to go and to apply to your eyebrows. And they do have several colors in it, so you can pick your one that is good for you. Again, I am in dark brown because my hair is pretty dark brown. Right. I have two lip products I want to share with you guys that I'm in love with. One brand. <laughs> The Dose of Color. I love this brand so much. And I heard so many good things about it. Like, so many good things. Everybody was going crazy about it. So I was like, hold on there. Let me see for myself. So that's just what I did. I picked up Sunshine Kisses and Purple Fuchsia. No. And Purple Fusion. Holy moly. These are the most pigmented. They're like a lip gloss and a stain put into one. And they don't even have the texture of a lip gloss. They're, they're so pigmented. Like, oh my gosh. Actually, the purple is what I have on my lip. Actually, the purple color is what I have on my hair right now. <laughs> Actually, the Actually, the purple color is what I have on my lips right now. And I just want to show you guys the brush to this. It's different. It's like, can you see that? It's like a flat brush instead of a, um, please look at that. Like, that's unreal. Instead of like a rounded angled tip brush that's in your normal lip glosses. Because these, like, the consistency of them is more like a stain. It's a thinner, not goopy at all consistency. I'm thinking about doing a whole entire review of them. So I can give you guys like a really in-depth thoughts about these but just know that I love them. One more makeup item and then I'm done talking about makeup today. It is an old classic. It is Shell by MAC. I can't remember if I mentioned this before in a favorite so sorry if I'm repeating myself but this is just a cream highlighter or that's what I use it for anyways. You can use it as like an eyeshadow base or you can put it on your eyelids just to wear like kind of a shimmery eyeshadow if you want to. You can run it down your nose to add a little shimmer. I have been wearing it on my cheekbones right here and I'm currently wearing it today. I get a lot of questions asking on my Instagram pictures what is the highlighter that I use and currently it is Shell by MAC and I've never gotten as many questions about the highlighter that I use until I started using this again. I used it a long time ago, forgot about it, rebought it. Love it. I have, okay, next is the Saint Tropez, um, the Spray Perfect Legs, the Perfect Leg Spray. 
same difference anyways what happened was I was I was out of town and I was getting ready to go somewhere wearing a romper and my legs have not seen the light of day in like five months so whenever my skin turns pale it gets kind of yellowy looking it's kind of weird anyways so I picked this up at a Sephora it was $18 which is a little bit steep because the can is really small but yeah I sprayed it all over my legs I didn't have the mitt that you're supposed to use it with which I think it would have worked better if I did but I rubbed it in with my hands it dried it did have a slight green color with it but my gosh my legs look so much better so quick and like it smells pretty good like it does not smell like a fake tanner so I really like that that when I wasn't walking around people weren't like clearly she uses a fake tanner because she smells like a tanning bed it's none of that so I really like that about this product and maybe I'm just mentioning you and my favorites because you saved my life you saved my legs life that was my January favorites video I hope you liked it I hope you liked all the products I mentioned and if you tried them before give me your insight on them comment down below and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel please follow me on all my social media and Twitter Instagram Facebook I got all kinds of stuff out there you can find it always in the description bar down below and thank you so much for coming to my channel thank you so so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys to death bye guys